Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So originally my plan was that today I cover the Battlefield Season 7 leaks, but since I just dropped the teaser trailer that we get on March 12th with the new season, I will do this then when we saw the trailer and we know what's actually coming. But what's more important, guys actually dropped record changes that they are doing. And I wanted to talk about them because the changes are, let's just say it, stupid and the people that work on them literally have no clue how to do things in the game. So. But what's the thing? Well, they wanted to add visual recoil. What is visual recoil? Usual visual recoil is when you see a gun jumping in game, but it has actually no effect on your actual aim. I don't know if any of you played Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the OG from 2007, but there with the deagle, the gun would go from like the middle of your screen above like the top of your screen, but you would actually still hit center mass because the gun had a lot of visual recoil, but not actual recoil. So, and now this alone is already like bad i would say having your gun show you recoil that isn't existing is not really good especially in like a normal shooter but now what they are doing with battlefield 2042 is crazy now i read you a post first i will also blend it in here so you can read it for yourself but dice has also pointed out that visual recoil improvements they are not improvements by the way they make the gunplay worse literally or at least from what i can see so far and from what the other people can see dice has also pointed out that visual recoil improvements don't have zero percent effect on where bullets go but spread is not being removed it's a mix between recoil shown and visual recoil where bullets will match where your weapon reticle is aiming and sometimes they won't so what they're basically saying is that with the new changes when you are aiming down sight and you are on the enemy sometimes the bullets you are shooting by adsing will hit the enemy you are aiming at and sometimes they just won't and this alone is like the biggest red flag i have seen in a shooter like in battlefield we are already dealing with bad hit track most of your bullets literally just not connect so ttk is already really long with most of the guns we have broken inputs on mouse and controller so aiming is already shit and now they go like oh yeah by the way now your guns also won't shoot where you are aiming or rather sometimes they do sometimes they won't and i just don't understand this change why would you add this and especially why would you add this after 2.5 years i mean the game is almost out for three years at the end of the year and now we are doing recoil changes and i mean i get where they are coming from like they said the guns in battlefield kind of all feel the same and they don't really feel punchy but why is this it's usually because the guns sound fucking horrible my software i have next to me sounds more punchy than the desert eagle in this game and it's a bb gun like why it dies like we had such great weapon sounds especially back in the day where when you shot a gun it really sounded really crazy and like you were an actu actually shooting a beast but now it feels like we are shooting with like paper guns and also every gun kinda sounds the same especially when you use like a suppressor sometimes i can't even tell what gun the enemy is shooting at me with because they all sound the same but dice thought yeah instead of doing this why not fuck the recoil even more in this game people will probably enjoy this so but I will now read to you like the full thing. So they said, as we get closer to the reveal of season 7 for Battlefield 2042, reveal is March 12th by the way, we wanted to begin touching up on some key gameplay changes set to take place. First up is weapon recall. Take a look below to see how assault rifles, SMGs and LMGs will be feeling different in the upcoming season. With season 7, we wanted weapon to feel more unique and powerful when it comes to firing them. As such, we've made changes to our visual recoil sanded within the game and tuned them for the for each weapon. Similar to the work that had taken place with season 5 and camera sprint motion, these changes will be more subtle for some while being more apparent to others. It's an effort to create a more vivid firing experience which will provide more visual emphasis on the weight and power of a weapon as you fire while aiming down sight. Going forward, these changes will now provide distinct characteristics to each weapon's gameplay and visual expectations, immersive experience while impacting gameplay vi without impacting gameplay viability. Without impacting gameplay Gameplay viability is a lie because if my gun isn't shooting where I'm aiming then it's impacting my gameplay viability because then if like 50% of the guns that are good the gun isn't shooting straight basically nobody will play it and everybody will tend to the gun where they can actually hit people with if they're aiming down sight. Yeah so that's what is planned and I, I don't know dice like it feels like to me at least 
this feels like they're now using Battlefield 2042 as a testing ground for the next Battlefield. And all this talk about like, oh, they want to make it more immersive or not, like, I'm sorry to inform you, but a Battlefield is not an immersive game. If you want military immersion, you can go play Squad or any of the other games, but not Battlefield. Battlefield is still to this day an arcade shooter. And with all those changes, like, I, ju I just don't understand it, especially from like the consumer's perspective. I have seen on Twitter a lot of people that were like, oh, this looks so good and stuff but I think what a lot of people also fail to realize is that changing those things take a lot of resources especially when they said that every gun now feels more unique and different this means they had to literally program a different visual recoil for every gun and every screw every scope that is in the game and that takes a lot of resources up and like we have, haven't had any content for like the last five months we know that we get two maps and they also leaked three guns and I can tell you right now that if on March 12th we get the trailer and they only show off three new guns and like the rocket launcher as like a gadget and the two maps then we can be pretty sure that the last five months most of the development time got to the visual recoil and I'll be honest with you if I as a player can decide between getting a shitty visual recoil update this makes e aiming even harder or more content because I'm pretty sure I'm not no programmer or game developer but I am quite confident in saying that adding a new gun with a new weapon model, firing animation, sounds and reload animations it's a lot easier than to adding visual recoil to every gun in the game. I mean, we are already at like 60 guns at the game in the game. So making different visual recoil for 60 guns definitely takes a lot longer and takes a lot more resources than adding even two, three or four new guns on top of the three they have planned. It's probably even harder than making a complete map these days with how easy programming tools are these days. So honestly, this looks to me like DICE uses Battlefield 2042 as a testing ground for the next Battlefield game. This also shows me they hate the player base i mean the game launched two and a half years ago mouse input is still bugged controller inputs are still shit the hit rate is abysmal around 30 percent of your bullets don't hit maybe even more depending on the fire rate of your gun because the faster your gun fires the more likely it is to not just register a hit so and with all these problems they are adding now the recoil changes and from what i have seen so far it also seems like your gun is now deviating from the center of your screen making it even harder to aim that's not much a problem for controller players since they have aim assist but on pc i can tell you this will feel horrible and i also say this right now if the changes are as bad as i think they are and i will do intensive testing probably on this and enders also already said we will do extensive testing on it and if the game really feels even worse to play than it does now, I probably just quit the game and go to like Valorant or something. My aim isn't really that good in Valorant, but honestly, then I just have to learn this game because I'm not playing a shooter where when I ADS, my bullets are not going where I'm aiming. That's just, I don't know. Either I'm not playing the game or if I play the game, I put on like the AC9 or the PBX, just put on a laser sight and just go running around hipfire. I mean, if my ADS bullets don't hit, at least my hipfire hits, right? But yeah, that's basically all i had to say to this short rant i love it when dice comes out with news when i'm at asleep so that when i wake up I, I can basically delete the whole video i had planned and make a complete new one i love this so much thank you dice but anyways that's my opinion on the record changes they look bad they sound bad but who knows maybe they make them actually not as bad as they make them sound like and it's super nice and everybody is happy but i don't believe this and yeah now i would like to hear your opinion what do you think of these changes i personally think we would be better off with better gun audio than with those recoil changes but that's just my opinion maybe a big part of the community actually thinks that's super great and especially what battlefield needed just let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for at least for now more battlefield content in the future thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one